Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested here at New York Comic Con 2018. I can't believe it's taken this long for me to chat with Tom Whalen on camera about your art. Tom, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good. You know, our past interactions at New York Comic Con has typically been me handing you a credit card right. <laughs> because I just go and buy your stuff. Well, this like, is nice too. Maybe I should chat with you about the art Sounds and share good. with people out there the art I collected over the years. Uh, your style is, is distinctive. Thank um, you. Thank it's, you. It's this, you make so good use of the screen printing process. Mm -hmm. Um, can you tell me how you got started? And, and I got started a few years ago, maybe almost 10 years ago, at Gallery 1988. Um, they hired me to do some work for UHF and for Army of Darkness. And that's mm. really where I like got my start and my calling card went out. Uh, screen printing, as far as screen printing goes, uh, it was Mondo uh, when they hired me to do Star Trek and Star Wars. Um, and it's really been just a great trajectory from there, uh, living in the screen print world. Because as an artist, you you, know, you could sell your stuff. You do you can do individual work, your stuff, kind of things that would maybe fit into like unlicensed fan art territory. Sure. But working with a gallery or someone who has is a licensee, then you get something that people can say this is a an official, a Lucas, yeah, official Lucas which is a big poster. deal to me, right? I still appreciate the unlicensed stuff too, because I like to experiment with stuff. Sure. Maybe I like to go back sure. and forth. I have one of your Ghostbusters, eighteen by thirty sixes. Yeah. And that format too. Yeah. 18 by 36 is I something love that excel format. At. Thank you, thank you. Like it's I know a, 24 by 36. It kind of directs how the art goes. It more than more than 18 by 24 and more than 24 by 36. That that format really confines a little bit, but it also allows for some really cool experimentation with composition. When you think yeah. of when you like embark on a project, yes, and you okay, you decide your form factor. What do you do? What's your first step? First step is to get a rough thumbnail together and. Really, one of the major things up front is to figure out which characters or scenes or vignettes I want to include. Um, and then really after that, it's, it's uh, pick a format and try to build, put all those elements together to make a composition that works. I assume it's all, all vector-based, so you yeah. can scale up and down, exactly. rearrange. And I jump into Illustrator pretty quickly. I'll do a little pencil sketch and then just go in and start building block colors and just get the composition to me is the first thing that has to be nailed mm. before I can feel comfortable moving forward. And then when you think of separations, mm -hmm. like is the look that you're going for more of like an overprint style look? Or? No, I don't use overprint that much. Um, I know it, it can allow for more color experimentation, but I kind of, I try to limit from anywhere from like four to eight or nine colors. Sometimes I go a little bit above. There's a Sesame Street print that I did that they required, they wanted accurate colors for all the all the puppets. So I had to use more colors than I normally use, but typically between four and 10. And then designing something for the screen printing process, yes. that's completely different than a, like a raster print. Yeah, because, because I don't, yeah, if I do a screen print, I keep it completely flat colors. I, I can fake some stuff uh, as far as blends and gradients, but I don't use any overlays or uh, shadowing. Or I just ca try to keep it flat, clean colors. So designing for screen printing has kind of help develop my style as well. Mm, so mm. I know what I'm capable of with screen printing. Right. So it kind of drives what the look is at the end. Right, and, and things don't necessarily stack necessarily. So you have to create negative spaces. Exactly, right. All, all of your vectors, right. all and of your I, I'm a big fan of negative space to begin with and letting negative space like let the composition breathe a little bit. So that's, that's awesome. a big part of my work. What are you doing next to, to challenge yourself? Uh, I'm actually working on some packaging uh, for end of this year, beginning of next year. I'm super excited about it. Um, it's as much as I can say, but uh, it's, a, it's an exciting new project for me. Awesome. Yeah. Well, love your artwork, love Thank your you. pins. Thank you. I know yeah. people are swarming trying to get these. The pins have been huge yeah. this time. Like huge, yeah. That's very cool. And I know for people who follow you online, or even don't follow you online, you should follow Tom because you sometimes <laughs> drop APs. Yeah. And, and so even though things may be limited edition sold out, they may pop up from time to time. Yes, and yes. And then I'll, I'll usually hold back some small quantities of um, pins and posters for shipping snafus or whatever mm -hmm. and then maybe end of the year early in the spring I will I'll do like a, a sale of all that stuff that I was holding back as damage uh, potential damage replacement so awesome. always got to keep an eye on Instagram yeah absolutely yeah it's great to chat with yeah. you Tom I'm gonna go start perusing some of this all right, work good. <laughs> so we can have our, our annual interaction right. of, okay. of purchasing okay goods. sounds good good to see you thanks Nora